Well, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Soshin here, and this is our Minecraft Let's Play series. Let's go ahead and start today's video. Ah, look at this, this is my village, and this is my two enchanted book I got from the librarian. And one thing I noticed, I think, I did some research. Remember I was doing, I was going to do FK to trying to get a name tag, while well, turns out name tag is not a junk item. Name tag is a special item, which is, I can no longer get name tag from FK fishing. Why well, do you find the other way to get a name tag is trading with librarian, which you have to level him up like a lot, uh, which is I can't because he's I need a lot more embro or in books to uh, you know level him up. And I forgot to take the embro I have at home, so if I did that, I could get more things. But for now, not really. And I'm almost gonna run out of coal or different things like that. Yeah, he takes iron, but I don't have iron. Wait, what? Price inflation for iron? What? Are you joking with me, buddy? Why price inflation for iron? That's not allowed. And this guy still takes iron. He doesn't take anything else, which is surprising. And I do think I should really let the villagers to, you know, produce your population a little bit. And I kind of want to build a nether portal from this village to my home so I could you know, transport villagers back and forth. But I think I, I'm gonna go back to go back home right now since I got a two more mending books. I'm gonna either put this on my I think I'm gonna put this on my like legging I don't know which one. I think I'm gonna put my put it on my boots first since the durability went down the boots and some other things. But let's fly back. And if I remember correctly Actually, not too far away from my home. It's like, so this village is around 2,000 block away. But if I remember correct, around 1,000 block away, there is another village, which I didn't find before. Because when I try to locate this village first time, I don't have Elytra. I have to go on foot. And then just basically, you know, travel around in the world, find a direction, and I go from there. But right now, since I have Elytra, I can fly over here. On my journey, I did find there's a, another village around 1,000 and 1,000 blocks, which is quite interesting. There's another village close by, and you know, it's a closer village, which means if I have to build another portal to link up the village to my home, it's going to be a lot easier. And therefore, if I want to, you know, have better villagers, but I, I've already do some trading with a villager over here, which means I have a librarian that's going to sell me Mandy Enchanted Book. And I really want to keep him. I want to take him home, but I have to have a nether transporting system. And that's going to take like a hundred years to build because, first of all, I need a lot of ice. So I could, you know, use boat to travel on ice faster. Ah, yeah. See, that's a village I was talking about. And like I could have made a nether portal from this village back home to bring villager back to my house and then I don't know trade with him see if I could get any you know better things but that's that's gonna be a very big project to link up the nether portals so it's gonna travel uh, transport villager back home and I do have to find a space around my house to build a village for the villagers which is gonna be you know, another big project compared to the nether portal transporting system. And on top of both of things, I'm, I have a project that I want to start right now. It's building a museum. A museum that's going to have all kinds of mobs in this Minecraft world. Doesn't really matter if it's animal or hostile mobs. Any mob you can think of. They exist in the museum. Well, other than Ender Dragon and Wither, because I can't really put a Ender Dragon in the museum, and nor I could cap a Wither in the museum. I think for them, I'm just gonna, you know, you know, use records to record the Ender Dragon and Withers. But all the other mob, 
I'm going to figure out something to somehow capture them and transport them to my museum. And I'm going to use name tag to name them so they're not going to get despawned even though I go out of the chunk. Which is why I need a lot of name tag. Which is why I have to figure out a way to get name tag. Which is why I have to level up my librarian so I could get name tag from him. Which I don't even know is he go guaranteed going to trade name tag with me. So I'm just going to cross my finger. Hopefully he's going to trade name tag with me. And how far am I from home? Oh, really close. Almost there. Yeah. Ah, bingo. So, so far, I think I'm just going to, you know, try to level up the librarian for now. See if he's going to trade, uh, you know, uh, name tag with me. Hopefully he will. And then, you know, after that, it could be some other things. But uh, I have to wait. I can't really sleep right now. I could put the... Uh, Mending on my boots for now. I hope this anvil is gonna last that long. Yeah, I need more. I need more iron to make a new anvil. I don't have too much iron. I have to make a iron farm, isn't it? I shouldn't make a iron farm, but I need more villagers again. Which is I don't have that much villager. I don't really want to, you know, spend the villagers to make the iron farm because I don't have a lot of villagers. Um, yeah. Oh, do I? Wait, where did I put my Ambro? Did I just leave Ambro in the chest over there? I absolutely did. And I have 17 Ambro. Not too much. Not a lot. Not a lot. Really not a lot. That's fine. Gonna be rich. You know, use diamond to make everything. So, that is my axe, shovel, and a diamond hole. Perfect. And time to do some enchantments. Hopefully this shovel is gonna give me some good things. Efficiency 4, nice. Unbreaking 3, efficiency 4, banner. Perfect. Efficiency 3, silk touch, silk touch diamond axe, I don't need that. Efficiency 3, efficiency 3, unbreaking 3, not bad. Do I need to put anything on my diamond hole? Not really, because I do want to break this diamond hole. Because that's an enchantment. So, yeah. I have to put Mandy on my diamond shovel. Just because I think the durability on this shovel will go down quite a lot after I remove that mountain. So, you know, I'm going to use the mob spawner farm to get the experience back later on. Put the shovel back. Well, no, no, no. Keep the shovel. Put the hole back because I don't need it. I can use this axe for now, so let's put the diamond axe back there also. Um, redstone goes there. Let's take the coal. Coal could go here. Flint, Ambro, Glowstone, uh, Map. And those things could go over here. All right, and my junk chest, I'm going to put things like bone, fence, stairs. I'm not going to put it down stairs anymore because it's like make no difference almost. So let's get another walk water bucket. And we got to start removing that huge mountain we got over there. Man, this is going to be a big job. Going to take my bad with me so I could sleep while doing this thing, isn't it? All right, let's get ready. Took the bed and go here. How tall is this mountain, first of all? Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. I thought I was expecting a lot, you know, a lot more things to do, but I think this will be fine. Should I gather the snow too? Yeah, I could if I, whoa. Not gonna lie, efficiency for sho diamond shovel just break dirt so easily. All right, you know what? Let's cue the amazing time lapse to fast forward.
Okay, that's the last bit of the dirt and the, wow, man. You know what? I was gonna like remove everything from here and I decided, you know what, that's too much. I'm gonna stop over here because it's just gonna be too much for me to do. There's like, I'm just gonna use that kind of half dirt thingy as like the wall of the museum. The museum is just gonna build off of this thing because there's too much thing I have to remove. Too much thing I have to remove. Uh, I got a bit more coal, which is I stored it. And, well, I should take the coal, isn't it? Like, imagine this much building, but there's no coal at all. This is the only coal I found. But there's so much dirt and stone I have to use. I have to, like, start a new chest in the underground for both stone and dirt just to store those kind of things over there. This is, like, too much things I have to destroy. And I actually have to stop this world to go eat lunch because it literally took me that long to fill up this entire, destroy, dig up this entire mountain. But uh, I did it. I mean, it's really something like good. I got a good shovel and a good pickaxe so I can destroy dirt fast. And OK, so this will be the like, you know, kind of the out outer layers for the farm. I mean the museum I think I'm gonna use a different box to make the museum all right so the rain has stopped it let me make sure there's not much hostile mob well we definitely got some companies here zombies spiders I don't know creepers there might be creepers I'm not a fan of creeper not really oh what happened here why are the snow... Oh wait, it's not the snow, it's like the new snow. Okay, yeah. I was like, wait, why are I missing snow pieces? And that's uh, from the snowfall. Okay, yeah. Nice, that's nice. Okay, uh, let's figure out the area for the museum. So the museum definitely has to go along the... Along the wall over there. But we're gonna fill up the dirt path over here a little bit the grass actually start growing which is a nice thing yeah so the museum will roughly start from here all the way down here i'm gonna put a very big old door over here maybe automatic or maybe just normal iron doors and there could be quite a few layers of this museum so yeah pretty good i have to get the base settled down my cobblestone are smelting. I will have a lot more stone bricks and smooth stone by the end of the smelting process, which is I will need a lot more coal. So I should really go down and try to mine some more, some more coal because I need a lot more coal. Yeah. Uh, check out my furnace. I don't think it's finished yet. Yeah, I need a lot more time on the furnace. Yeah, guys, I think this will be it for today, actually. I'm not going to make this video longer, even though I know for you guys, it's not that long. But for me, it's like almost a day of work just to get rid of the mountain. So, yeah, this is everything for today. We are on our journey to start our first big project in this Minecraft world, making a mob museum. So if you made this part was all subscribe, why don't you go down there? Hit that big old subscribe button because according to YouTube, only 92% of you are watching right now is not subscribed. I mean, it's free and it's going to help me out a lot. I would be so happy if you start to subscribe. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.